We were underrepresented in the university. We were underrepresented in the polytechnic. Though we made up about 8-9% of the population. And we were just represented in IT. And the problems faced by Sinda was, Indian kids, especially from the poorer families, the moment they finished 10, 10 years or even 8 years of education, they went to work. Can you imagine uh, 17, 18 year old boys and girls and what kind of jobs they were all were going into? The boys went into security guards, the girls, car park attendants. Those days was not automated. Most, if you go to all the buildings, in fact, my office is in Concourse. I remember the early days. The girls all were the car park attendants. You know, the machine, you just attend and you pay as you go off. And one of the unintended consequences of all this was, since the security guards were also all Indians, so they got to know the car park and then, then both of them meet, opportunities, got married. And what happened? Typical Indian guy, I still remember in the early 70s and 80s, moment you get married, you'll tell the wife to stop work. And this was based on the interviews done by famous Indian psychologist who came and gave briefing. He would tell the wife to stop work and in his own miserable salary of 800, he would say, first take care of my mother, take care of me and then take care of my children. After, he, after a while, he finds that there's not enough money. You know, the labor participation rate between 16 to 19, those days, the highest were the Indians, which actually they should have been studying in a tertiary institute, either in university or polytechnic or IT. But the opportunity to earn just a few hundred dollars made them feel so great. But on the long term, they didn't think about it. I remember moving with Colonel Menon, and there were a lot of jobs opportunities for cliff operators. Just, I just take this example. PSA was looking for a lot of forklift operators. So we used to talk to some of the Indian security guards. Why don't you give up your job? They will train you, we will support you, you know, and then you become a forklift operator. But one thing I can tell you, they didn't want to give up their job as a security guard, say to condos or places. They enjoyed the lifestyle. You don't do much, unlike today. You know, there's a lot of work for them. Those days was just sitting there and then, you know, registering people, just check. But to be a forklift operator, you really have to work. So that what happens, the work frightened them. You know, they didn't want to do it. Another problem which was highlighted to us, Indian community, the lower income especially, never paid much attention to the children's education. We compared apple to apple. Take a three-room flat, Chinese family, Indian family. Chinese family, father in jail, Indian family, father in jail. Yet, two children. Yet, the two children in the Chinese home were doing reasonably well in schools. The mother kept pushing them. But in our Indian homes, went to ask why, I mean, oh, this is my karma. You know, Indian culture, one of the weakness is karma thing. I might have done something wrong in my... Uh, so they didn't even want to push the children.